for us. And uh, Darren, what is uh, Michael Gove expected to say exactly? Well, Michael Gove has certainly seen himself as a radical education secretary. Some of those reforms over the last four years have certainly proved controversial with many parents and teachers. But he will argue in a speech later on today that reform needs to go further and standards need to be raised even higher. Now, part of that will come with illiteracy. Uh, he will make a pledge later on to say he wants to end illiteracy within a, a generation. Some 15% of primary age school children leaves uh, primary school without good reading and writing skills at the level they should be set. Uh, he'll also say in a wide ranging speech at the uh, policy exchange uh, that they need to tackle what he says is truancy and have tougher penalties, particularly for parents in order to do this. This is what he's going to say, uh, Gillian, later today, that we need to ensure that those parents who don't play their part in ensuring their children attend school, ready to learn and showing respect for the teacher, face up to their responsibilities. We will later this year be outlining detailed proposals to ensure parents play their part in guaranteeing good behaviour and outlining strong sanctions for those who don't. Now, in March, uh, new government data said uh, that there was an increase in uh, the number of parents who were not paying fines for the children missing school. In fact, some 20,000 were not paid last year. Now, what are the sanctions that Michael Gove is talking about? Well, potentially, he's saying that he might deduct child benefit payments from parents who refuse to pay those uh, fines. And now, this really will be a sounding board, this speech later on today, for potential inclusion of reforms in the Conservative Party manifesto for next year's general election. Undoubtedly, the message, which is Michael Gove's one over the last four years, that simply the state sector needs to kind of reach up to higher standards and attacking kind of low expectation within that sector, that's a message that will prove popular, I, I suspect, with many parents. Uh, though I suspect the means of trying to get there will once again prove controversial for some parents and particularly for many teachers. OK, Darren, thank you. Well, what do you think uh, about this subject? Should parents be responsible for their children's behaviour at school? Should they face sanctions if their children are badly behaved? Do get in touch. Let us know what you think at Sky Sarah Jane or at Sky. Gillian and Sarah Jane joins us now on the sofa. Take us through the rest of the day's news. Thanks, Gillian. Police in Brazil have used...